from the previous video that I have done. I was looking at all of the comments and responded back to the majority of them. There was this one particular comment which was nothing new to me and it was from a person named Miss Kelly that goes by that YouTube name. From me paraphrasing from what she had said, can you stop yelling whenever that you are teaching or can you stop raising your voice whenever that you are teaching? Behind that, one of my subscribers named Reefy came behind to take the place and take my stand to tell her what was up and about me and everything which I thank her for that and I really thank Reefy for that also there was this naysayer or this troll that came on here named Red sitting there talking about that my teachings were hypocritical then all of a sudden I came back with a comment and sit there and I said that those two people are just a waste of time. Then all of a sudden I seen in the comment section of that video there was another person out of nowhere. I don't even know if this person was a subscriber to me or not. But that person was mainly taken up for me. Which I certainly thank that person. Which if you are a subscriber or not. I simply thank you. And I thank Refee for that. But... The overall point to this whole entire thing that I have seen, when it comes to people like Miss Kelly and other countless people out there that come visit this channel, they always think that I am raising up my voice and yelling every single time that they come visit my channel. And you know what the reason why that they think this way? It's simply because these people do not know how to use critical thinking in order to distinguish a person whenever that they are raising up their voice to be passionate whenever that they are teaching or someone who is just angry, mad, and whenever they are ranting for no apparent reason whatsoever. They can't even discern the difference. And you know the reason why that they cannot deserve the difference is because these people do not want to take the time to get an understanding in order to think outside the box. That's what they don't want to do. And so, from the 60% of people that sit there and say, well, I'm sitting there raising up my voice, I guarantee you that it was something that I had said that had offended them or made them real upset and made them real mad to causing them to say whatever they want to say so that they can get a response out of me. That's what the whole entire ordeal or the whole entire gig of what 60% of these people do. But the, but the 40%, yeah, most of them like probably listening to my teachings, but they do not want to use critical thinking to get an understanding to decipher the difference. They don't want to get an understanding at all. Because you know the reason why? It's simply because they think that it is very uncomfortable when I am yelling, raising up my voice whenever I am teaching. And like I said before, I don't need to change in this area like they so-called think because they can't tell that it's passion or somebody just rambling being angry. They can't tell the difference. And it's just like my subscribers, the ones that I do know and the ones that I don't even know at all. But I do know this, they tell me this, a lot of them said, they love when they when I raise up my voice. They love the passion of when I speak or when I teach. Because you know the reason why that a lot of them sit there and say that, the majority of them sit there and say that, is simply because they got an understanding where I am coming from. 
They can understand my passion whenever I'm teaching because they know that I love talking about the self-help, the personal development, the twin flames, and the common knowledge area. They understand this. But people like Miss Kelly and all of these other people, they don't they don't want to get an understanding of it. And not want to try and get an understanding of because you know why? Is because they are a part of the society that do not want to take time to do any type of critical thinking as to, okay, why is Tyler raising up his voice? They're not going to do anything like that at all. Because we live up in a society that they, that they do not want to do any type of critical thinking in order to think outside the box at all. Because people always get into their feelings, getting real mad, getting real upset. Rather than when someone is stimulating thought and teaching in order to get a point across, what do they do? They respond out with responses like these, such as, you're yelling, up, you're, yelling you're raising up your voice. Some of them might do enjoy my teachings, but they just can't stand for me to raise up my voice. Few of them. But at the same time, they ain't no better than those people over there that's sitting there telling me to raise up my voice. And you know the reason why? Because these type of people do not want to do no type of critical thinking, and they're uncomfortable when I raise up my voice. For all of you people that sit there and think I raise up my voice, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you something. In my er years ago, in my earlier years, and I didn't know better and when I didn't do better, I used to be like y'all, you people out there that has this, don't want to use no type of critical thinking, that don't want you think outside the box. Whenever someone is saying something to, in order to benefit your life, or to improve your life, or to try to get you to get this corrected at first. I will sit here and I will tell you this, that I used to be, the, I was the same way as you. And I'm going to tell you a story. Years ago what happened because when I didn't know better and when I, do, when I didn't do better. That I remember my mom sit there and told me that. Well, you ain't been through nothing. As for me not knowing better and doing better and didn't want it and didn't do no type of critical thinking like Miss Kelly and all these type of people. You know what? I did. I got into my feelings, I got real mad and got real upset at my mom. Yeah, and I sit there and I rose my voice up a little bit talking back, which was, I will admit, disrespectful or whatever. But at the end of the day, I was still angry and I was still upset at my mom because, like me, I didn't want to get an understanding of it and didn't even try to get an understanding of it. And I was real angry at her at that, at that particular moment. But I sit here and I tell you people, as I, as I mature and I know better and I do better, as a lot of people say that I'm wise for my age, but I will sit here and I will say this, that I change from stop getting into my feelings into whenever someone is trying to tell me something to try to get me ready for something that is up ahead or to get me to wake up to what is up ahead into the future time or to do something to correct me and to get it right in order to improve or wanting me to improve I had changed from all the people from Miss Kelly and all these type of people and I and I now do critical thinking whenever people is 
saying whatever that they are saying to me in order to reprove, get me ready for the future, or to whatever experience that is out here. They're trying to tell me about something or to give me a revelation about something that is in the future or to reprove and to correct me so that they can see an improvement and want to see the better for me. I do critical thinking. Now, because I have matured, like I said, like I said earlier. But I will sit here and I say, due to me doing those changes, do you know how long all of you naysayers and all of you people out there? It took me ten years to realize what my mother was telling me. Which she was right. She was trying to give me a revelation of what was up ahead in the future out there in the world. That's what she was meaning. She was telling me that you ain't been through what is out there in the world. What you're going to have to get ready for. And it took me a long time to realize that. But my overall point is that. What the problem with a lot of you people, like Miss Kelly and all these other people, you don't even want to change from starting to do critical thinking. You don't want to start doing critical thinking. You don't even want to ask the whys, the hows, or try and get a revelation of it. It's because you are still packed up in your comfort zone. That's the reason why. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to tell you this. I don't even know who this woman was. It was a comment in the comment section. I don't even know. But she sat there and said that she loved my videos. But I knew she was saying that I said and too much. Which is true and I had to examine that. And so I sat there and I said I am going to get better in order to improve my speaking in that area. And I had to get an understanding of it. But what my whole entire point is, when it comes to me raising up my voice is, I don't I know that I don't need to make changes in this is because people these people who like Miss Kelly and them, they can't even decipher the difference. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is not a rant or anything like that. But like me, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I'm going to continue teaching self-help topics and twin flame topics and common knowledge to all of people that are subscribed to this channel and the new people that are subscribing to this channel, which I thank all of you a lot. But... I hope that you enjoyed all of this video, and I'm going to cut this video short. If you enjoyed and liked this video, I give you the invitation to please subscribe to this channel because you'll receive weekly content on a weekly basis. Thank you, and have a great and awesome day, people.